Hi everyone, Florian Puhani here with a video especially for those of you who would like to take the egg crushing challenge but don't want to make a mess like you voted in the last poll. So I'm going to show you. Although I have to admit it didn't turn out quite as clean as planned but at least I didn't waste half as much of the edible part of the eggs as these two guys here. World famous climbers Magnus Mitbö and Adam Ondra. You put it in the middle of the mm -hmm. palm like this and then you just wrap around and then squeeze. Mm -hmm. And the reason we cover the floor is because afterwards we're going to pick everything up and we're going to make a nice omelet and eat everything. We don't want to <laughs> let any food go to waste. You want to start? All right. <laughs> yeah, just do that over here though. <laughs> okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the tarp they had covered the floor with didn't help a bit. Anyway, I wouldn't let that kind of plastic touch my food. So I chose something especially dedicated to the storage of groceries. Or should I say, the containment. I hadn't experimented with the size of the X yet, so I chose size M by default. I guess larger or smaller eggs could make the challenge easier and harder respectively. Also depending on the relative size of your hand of course. Because I wanted to cook and eat the eggs afterwards, I bought organic ones. I don't know whether organically raised chicken produce more brittle or more robust eggs, but I tend to believe the latter. And now for the easiest part of the challenge. The first egg. Dry and clean, in my well rested right hand, also dry and clean yet. By the way, my hands are pretty equally strong, I couldn't tell you which one is stronger. After what I had seen from Magnus and Adam, I made sure to close the ziplock. And no, I wasn't entirely sure I could even do it. But better to fail with my hand in a freezer bag, than to succeed and have to clean up a huge mess as a reward. How to avoid that is the whole purpose of this video after all. So yeah, if you're short on time you can click away now. Or maybe now, in case you had any doubt how this would turn out. This feels very different from any other grip challenge I know, because there is absolutely no yielding. For a few seconds, as you are gradually increasing your grip effort, it feels like you're squeezing a stone. But then all of a sudden, without the slightest warning, the egg explodes. And afterwards, you're not really sure how much harder you could have squeezed either. At least not after just one single random egg. That's one of the two reasons why I decided to try and crush four eggs in a row. To get a closer, more realistic estimation of the necessary grip strength. The other reason is the serving size of the resulting omelette, of course. But to get there proved to be harder than it had seemed at first. I quickly realized it was pretty arrogant of me to think I could crush the second egg with the same hand. That was not only pre-fatigued but also slippery from the content of the first egg. And now I had also made the egg slightly slippery. So even with my left hand that was still dry and well rested, I had a much harder time crushing the second egg than I had had with the first one. As you can see, I was so apprehensive of failure, I didn't even care about closing the ziplock this time. But I got lucky, the blast radius was limited to the inside of the freezer bag. Now both of my hands were soiled and slippery. And yet, even under these adverse conditions, I deemed my right hand recovered enough already to crush the third egg. After I had at least rubbed off the small shards of the second eggshell, of course. Seeing as I tied down the bag around my forearm again and adjusted my hand in front of the camera, it even looks like I had regained most of my confidence. And as it turned out, rightfully so. But let's not forget we are dealing with a natural product here. 
Therefore, expecting all of the eggs to be equally pressure resistant would be absurd. In hindsight, I'm pretty sure number 3 was the weakest one. As I took it out of the carton, I already noticed that the fourth and last egg felt a bit smaller in my hand. And now we will see what that meant for the crushing challenge. Needless to say, I switched hands again. But judging from how the challenge had gone so far, I thought I was still good. I didn't see the necessity to wash and dry my hands first. Instead, I tried to crush the somewhat smaller egg with a hand not only pre-fatigued, but also thoroughly lubricated by now with liquid egg content. As you may have guessed already, to no avail. Unwilling to admit defeat yet, I also had my right hand have a go at it, even though it had had the shorter recovery time of the both of them. But no positive surprise there. In Magnus and Adam's video you can see they still have a thin layer of chalk on their hands from the other challenges they had undergone beforehand. But then again, they didn't get to make an omelette eventually anyway. And no, I don't think it would have been particularly unhealthy. But still, I didn't want to have any traces of chalk in my omelette. If some rest of chalk would have even helped me crush the fourth egg is doubtful in any case. As it turned out, just washing my hands didn't even do the trick. I also had to wash and dry the egg. But even then the somewhat smaller egg resisted my first attempt to crush it. Not the second one though. So eventually of the four eggs I crushed two with my right hand and two with my left. And that's pretty much the only thing that went as planned. What was yet to follow turned out to be the most unpleasant part of the whole challenge. Making the omelette ready to fry by picking out at least the larger parts of the eggshells. I definitely hadn't thought about that before. I thought I would be able to contain the whole shell in my hand after crushing the egg. But of course the pressure of the explosion ripped off lots of shards of different sizes. So please take this challenge only if you are not afraid to increase your calcium intake a little. Do you even eat eggs? In my opinion eggs are great. But still pre or post workout you may prefer a whey protein shake. Or maybe a vegan one. You can get both of the best organic quality using my affiliate link below. That way you would definitely support my channel. But if you aren't that big on taking supplements at all, just give this video a thumbs up and share it with other omelette lovers. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Oh and please turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. My name is Florian and I will continue to make an effort so that you don't get bored with your training.